Welcome to Tirana. We are at the George Castriotti Skanderbeg Square, which was built in 1917. In 1968, it was named after our national hero who fought against the Ottomans in the 15th century. In Albania, we have four different religions. Muslims, which are believed to be the majority of the population, Catholics, Orthodox and Bektashi, a lesser-known, more liberal Muslim sect. The Resurrection Cathedral, built in 2012, is considered to be among the largest Orthodox churches in the Balkans. The bell tower is composed of four Pascal candles, which symbolize the four evangelists who proclaimed the Resurrection. This is the clock tower of Tirana. It was built in 1822 in Islamic style by Etehem Bey Mola, who also built the nearby mosque. This is the St. Paul's Cathedral, which was built in 2001. It is dedicated to St. Paul because it's believed that in year 1 AD he was passing through Albania blessing the local people. It is a modern looking building and does not resemble a traditional church. Welcome to the Castle of Berat, one of the biggest still inhabited castles, not only in Albania but also in southeastern Europe. The first mention of this castle is from the 6th century BC. What we see today is mainly from the Byzantine times, during the 13th century. Throughout that period, the settlement expanded and defensive walls and additional entrances were built. This castle used to have 24 defensive towers and four main entrances, and we are passing through what used to be the biggest and most important one. Mainly inhabited by Orthodox population, it's believed that it encompassed around 30 Orthodox churches. Apollonia is a Greek colony in Illyrian lands. It's dating back to the end of 7th century before Christ, and colonies from Corinth chose out this place because of its good geographical position. But Lusso artifacts prove that humus was living here since Mesolithic and Neolithic period too. During Hellenistic period, Apollonia started to play a very important role in the social, economical and cultural life of the area. Here we see the Odeon. It is a small theater dating back to Roman period, 2nd century AD, and it is used especially for the elite of the city, for musical and letter parties. It is the most important building of Apollonia, the monument of Agonothets or the Bauleterion. So let's say the city council building of Apollonia, dating back to 2nd century AD, in the front part, we see the use of the Corinthian style at the capitals and the columns, but as well, we can recognize at the architravum an inscription in Greek ancient language. The monastery is built 13th century, Byzantine style. It is all built over the ruins of the ancient city. So inside this monastery, we will find the church, which is in the center of the courtyards. There is the refractory, representing the dining room and also the rooms where the monks was living, as well as the storage, which is in the first floor of the monastery. The richest part of the monastery is in the second floor of the monastery, where we'll find thousands of objects since the Bronze and Iron Age, and also related to the foundation and the development of the city since 7th century before Christ until to the end of the life of the city. 